So this is a continuation of the video on Blender Neos. Uh, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna um, optimize the frequency of the plan, uh, the replacement task that we define in the plan renew uh, video, right? So if you wanna know how we build up this model, please refer to the plan renew uh, video, right? So this is sensitivity manager. Sensitivity manager is a very powerful way of managing all your sensitivity cases, right? So what it does is that it loads a model from Maras or Tara, and what we can do, we can actually change some specific parameters, right? So so you don't have access to the structure of the model, but you can change some very specific parameters. And that's really useful, right? Because you can ensure the integrity of the model, plus you can change the parameters to optimize your system, right? So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna add a, uh, three sensitivity cases, right? So I add a model already. So I add the, the model we just built up. Um, and we're gonna add a sensitivity case, three actually. And in order to define the sensitivities that we wanna change, we can drag and drop from the sensitivity type window to the main window. So if we wanna change the frequency, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna drag and drop an activity sensitivity, so, right? So we can do this, drag activity sensitivity and drop in that. And now we have a uh, sensitivity uh, type defined within our sensitivity case, right? So I can press the plus there to define another uh, an item, right? And I'm gonna look for this item. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select my uh, preventive task, right? So select the one. And I can see here that sensitivity manager is gonna load the sensitivity, uh, the base case, right? So the one, what the parameters we define in the first the base case the battery replacements right so what I can do here I can actually change the frequency so let's say what if uh, we have this happening every the the replacements happening every two months right uh, what if and then we can actually go to the next one and say all right so I'm gonna add again an activity sensitivity right so what I'm doing now I'm pretty much creating I created I have my base case I created my first model now I'm creating my second model right so then again, it's taking me seconds to, to do a change, right? I'm gonna add an, in my preventive task again, and I'm gonna say, all right, so what if it happens every four months, right? I'm gonna do the same thing for the sensitivity tree. I'm gonna add that, and I'm gonna say, uh, I can open this, and I'm gonna select my preventive task again. I'm gonna say, what if, you know, I'm actually late? I'm, I, I'm doing every 12 months or every year, right? So when I finish this, I can actually go back to my battery replacement. And if I scroll down, sensitivity manager is gonna create a report for the things that I did, right? So that's pretty helpful, right? It allows you to keep track of what you know, you're changing. Uh, when I press run sensitivities, sensitivity manager is gonna prepare and check and validate all the models, right? And then it's gonna start running um, uh, the four models in parallel. So, so let's press run. I'm gonna save this as my sensitivity project, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna replace. And now sensitivity manager is initializing, right? So it's pretty much preparing all the models so we can run. After preparing the model, what sensitivity manager does is gonna uh, run all the four models in parallel. So you can see I have four cores in my machine, so I can run four models at the same time. And at the end of the uh, run, what we should expect to see, we should expect to see a comparison view, right? So which is gonna allow us to compare all the results. So there you go, simulation completed, right? and we have the comparison view. So if I hide my uh, sensitivity types, and if I hide my sensitivity cases, right, I can, I can also access this back if I want to do this, right? Uh, what I can do, I can actually see the average efficiency of all the different cases I have, right? That's pretty cool, okay? Um, if I wanna see the delta, I can actually kick, uh, click here and I can see the delta between Sensitivity one, which is the blue one, sensitivity two, which is the pink one, and sensitivity three, which is the yellowish uh, uh, color here, the brownish color. Uh, so I can actually see the delta, and you know, for example, here is now very easy to see that if we have a replacement of two months, we can actually increase up to zero point one percent of efficiency. Another thing you can do, you can actually see the criticality. So if you go by criticality by event, right? And I click to see the graph. I can actually see the, the pump bearing failure increasing, you know, uh, the less, uh, obviously the, 
the the less frequent we actually perform the plan maintenance the more failures we're gonna get so this is a 12 12 months period right so it's a very we are waiting for far too long uh, but there's also a balance between the uh, shadow activity right so the shadow activity is gonna so pretty much the sum of this plus this is gonna give us what is the best kind of a balance right so hopefully this was insightful um, if you have any questions please do get in touch at software.support at thank you